How exactly does our brain help us navigate and remember locations? How do I remember this map? Chile, Ecuador, Colombia, Argentina. We created a memory in our brain with the help of spatial maps. So how are spatial navigation and memory related? Well, it turns out both are interdependent and are generated in the same area of the brain known as the hippocampus. With experimentation in rats, it has been found that there are certain cells in the hippocampus which are active only when the rat is in a specific location. New cells are active in other locations. These are called place cells and each of them has its own place field. They report the position of the rat and build up an inner map of the environment, primarily with the visual stimuli, irrespective of the terrain, be it a rocky cave, a bridge made of living roots, the back of an elephant or even as we navigate in virtual reality. The hippocampus receives input signals from an adjacent area of the brain known as the entorhinal cortex. Here, certain cells called the grid cells are active when the rat was at several places. A single grid cell is active in all those points which form a hexagonal grid pattern in the environment. Let's consider me as an experimental rat. Plug one grid cell of my brain. When I move through this grid, the cells fire at very specific locations. However, this doesn't help as I could be on any of the points where the cell is firing. So I decide to plug another cell of my brain. Now only the areas where both the firing cells overlap could be my possible location. Firing patterns of multiple such cells help us to pinpoint our exact location in the environment. Each grid cell represents a separate grid and has a different scale, all a multiple of root E. Why hexagons? In the physical world, one of the most space efficient techniques to pack things together is HCP or hexagonal closed packing. Nature has closely packed grid cells with minimum wastage of space. Other cells present in the entorhinal cortex that aid in spatial navigation are boundary cells, which respond to the presence of an environmental boundary at a particular distance and direction from an animal, head direction cells, which respond only when the animal's head points in a specific direction. Although conclusive research has been done only on rats, there's enough evidence to support the idea that such mechanisms occur in other mammals too. Professors John O'Keefe, Maybrit Moser and Edward Moser jointly received a Nobel Prize in 2014 for their discovery of cells constituting the brain's positioning system. Their studies have shown that in diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia, the hippocampus and the place fields are one of the first structures to be degenerated, which explains why people are unable to remember things or find their way. So next time your grandma is not able to find her glasses, help her with your very own GPS.